Family, what's good with y'all, man? Welcome in to another episode with your boy Trap Vision 3D. Uh, today, man, we're gonna be talking about a few watches, man. Uh, and as people come in, uh, I did drop the link. So if you are one of those that just participated on this uh Invicta 757 event uh this past weekend, you are more than welcome. If you missed it, uh, you're still welcome to come up and uh we can have a discussion about it, man. Uh, today, we're just going to be talking. We're going to be kicking it around, man, like watches, man. What type of watch collector you are. Uh, and this today's episode was inspired by a conversation I had with uh, an upcoming collector. Uh, one that uh, is, it may or may not be on your Invicta radar, man. But Felix uh, made a surprise visit. He made a 13-hour trek over to uh, the Invicta 757 anniversary which was pretty dope, man. It was pretty dope, man. It was a lot of people there, man. So let me do what I usually do. What's happening, everybody, in the chat? The great Santini is here. Dave D, one love, a.k.a. The Source, is in the building. Corey. And, yo, Joe is in the building. Hear me. What's happening, man, my friend? What's good with you, man? What's good with you? Uh, man, I'm a, you know what? I'm going to have a little, hey, what's up, come on, <laughs> with the eyeballs. <laughs> um, I'm going to talk about a few things, man. So I went old school. I, I threw on an Invicta Harlick shirt. Uh, what side is it on? I always get turned around. So this was 2019. I got this shirt from uh, Mikey Courtney, and they have an, a, an active group on uh, Facebook, Invicta Harlicks, of course. You see this. If you call any of my earlier um videos from like years when I first started, you see me doing this, uh, I was turned backwards and I was pointing to, I had a white sheet shirt on that time. Um, that's where I started. That's where I started. I started with, you know, just in the group and I went from that group to Invicta Cruisers and from Invicta Cruisers, I think Club Invicta. And then it was just downhill from there, man. It was like every Invicta group that came out, uh, which dude, this, this past weekend was pretty dope. It was pretty dope. Uh, I know I went live last night. We talked a little bit about it, man. But today I want to talk about, you know, uh, a conversation I had with Felix and some other collectors. I ran into a number of people out there in Virginia, and um, there are a few of you guys that subscribed to the channel. So thank you so much uh, for coming on with the family and what to expect. This right here, man, we're talking collection. We're talking people. We're talking events. Um, we do have a cruise coming up. For those that have yet to sign up, we have a cruise. It's going to be pretty fun. And there's another cruise. So you have a cruise on the West Coast with uh, Dickerson and his group. And then you have a East Coast, right? Not to be confused with East Coast, West Coast beef like the rappers back in the day. But, yes, you have an opportunity. If, you're, uh, if you've never been to California, they are doing a tour of Cali. He's giving you a personalized tour of uh, the beautiful place, which I've never been. If I was able to, I would go. Because I've never been to California. I want to go, like, I just want to experience it, you know what I'm saying, at least once. So, um, yeah, that's it, man. I learned a lot this weekend. Um, Invicta Girls Group, Invicta Girls Group, um, contrary to popular belief, they're one of the smaller groups, man. And, you know, I was talking to Penny. Penny is the CEO, the president, El Capitan of that group and, you know, just talking to her, I got a lot more background because I knew about the group. I've I seen, you know what I'm saying? I've seen some stuff, but she gave me more of an in-depth look on the group and what it stands for. And I was like, I was just, I was impressed with her, her knowledge. Um, man, it was, it was amazing just listening to her. It, man, it, I don't know. It just took me to a whole different level. And uh, I highly recommend that anybody that has 
uh, a lady that loves collecting, you know, Invicta timepieces and she's not linked up with the group. It's just like that. Invicta Girls group. In Invicta Girls watch group. Uh, go over there on Facebook, man, and sign her up. You know, um, it's, it's a good thing. And I just saw, who was it? Um, darn it, I don't have a picture of it. I'm, I'm going to look it up real quick. But uh, Tissot just launched a new watch for the WNBA representing. So I'm going to pull that up. I got I to find it. I've seen it earlier. I've seen it earlier. What's going on, Jay Jones? What's happening, bro? What's good, man? Welcome in, everybody. I know some people are watching on their tablets or their TVs and stuff like that, man. So I thank you guys for doing that. I, I really do. I, I really appreciate that. All right, let me let me pull this up. Uh, it's to Soul Sea Star. And... Uh, WNBA. It's seven hundred and fifty dollars. Paramatic eighty. Okay, I accept all cookies. So that's what it looks like. And that thing right there. Uh, so of course you know the strap is made like natural basketball, which I think is dope. <laughs> he said, "I'm happening. Get out of here, Jay Jones." Get out of here. Uh, what's on the wrist? Everybody in the chat, man, what, if you have a watch on. Some people probably took it off because it's the end of the day. You're like, hey, I don't, took my watch off. Uh, I'm actually rocking my Nomadic right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, still, yep, I'm still with it, bro. I actually went to that Invicta event. If you look on the pictures, you see all my Invicta pieces in, in that top corner. You see this watch. I took it with me, man. Uh, I actually, this thing looks amazing, like, outside. Dude, it looks dope here. But I, I went for a walk. I went for a two and a half mile walk, um, maybe two hours ago, and that sun hitting this thing, man, like it's crazy. So the loom is like a light green. Then of course you got the green dial. It just has this contrast, and then like even like the hour markers are like it's in, encased in gold, trimmed in gold rather. So uh, all that going on, man. I think it's it's a luxury uh, independent timepiece. First and foremost, ah. Uh, <laughs> Uh yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh guess what? For those that have been uh listening to my wife, and you know, she would say, All I have is eight watches. Well, she made the mistake. Made a mistake, a fatal mistake. She's not here. She made a fatal mistake when we left there. She left her watches in my case. So I got, and if you guys watch Sesame Street, you already know that there's more than eight watches in this case right here. Well more than eight watches. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. And then we'll get into some other stuff. We'll, we'll jump in to some other conversation. But I'm going to show you one of the watches that was the talk of the evening was this pink piece right here, this boat, which... When they came back, this was, anybody that knows about this watch, like the camera's not picking it up. Like this pink is very rich on the dial. Very rich. Really nice. Uh, that was the talk of the evening. And then, of course, this pink Lupa. Kind of look white on screen, but it's pink, light pink. I can assure you it's pink. And then that Arctic. Yes, look at that, man. Oh, yes. That's that Arctic X-Wing. That's a dope timepiece right there. I like that one. And I'm not going to go through a whole collection. But that's that S1. I mean, I'm tripping. Normal one. Sabaco normal one. 47 millimeter. Got a couple more here. But she has a huge X-Wing collection. Most of these in this, collect, this case is X-Wings. She got a bunch of them. Plus, she got, I think she had one that was out over here somewhere. It was, uh, I don't know where it went, but it's a master calendar timepiece. Where am I? 26600 iridescent pro diver again. Oh, classic. Speedway mechanical automatic ghost, yellow. Speedway mechanical automatic ghost. 
Jay Jones, is that the is that the anatomic one? You only have two watches. Get out of here. She got more than you, huh? Okay. If you say so. <laughs> uh, so if you guys did not catch, oh, this is the case I took with me. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to have people sign my case. Even though there, there are some signatures on here, I, I forgot to have people sign my case. But we'll go through these watches here in a minute. Uh, if you guys did not catch the show yesterday, uh, I picked up this Q watch. Uh, this is, you actually put your watch on this thing. So you can set this next to your bed. And the thing is amazing. Actually, man, I took it out and was like, dude, this is dope. I like that. Man, so the quality on this thing is dope. Soft pad. You put your watch down on there and you put it next to your bed. You're good to go. Uh, that was an actual free gift. That was one of the things that um, I like about going to those micro brand events. So let's talk watches and wonders real quick. Uh, I went through a number of uh, other YouTubers videos and um, I didn't tune into watches and wonders like I did last year. Uh, I think the my biggest takeaway from last year was actually um, it wasn't I think the engineer 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 was like the talk of the town regardless of the price. I think that was like one of the uh, most talked about watches. Uh, but for me, it was Panerai. I like Panerai's display last year. And um, this year, I really didn't dive into it. I just watched everybody's videos. And I don't, okay, thanks, Jay. Um, I really didn't, I really didn't, uh, I don't know. I think Tudor, I, mean, I saw a couple of those, man. I'll go back and look at some other videos, man. But like, I watched the Mad Watch Collector. And the way he did that video, it was more of like, he went through it. He wasn't impressed. I mean, at least that's the vibe I got from it. Uh, he gave some advice, like if you go to the Watches and Wonders, um, go to all of the other places. Don't go to the big dogs first because everybody's there. He said go after lunch, and then it's a different story. But, you know, everybody's going to go to, to Rolex and uh, AP. You know what I'm saying? The big the big dogs, you know. Um, but, I mean, that is – I would, I, would, I would imagine that, you know, Watches and Wonders, just a larger form of any independent or micro brand event that I've been to, which it is. I, I saw it like there's 50 plus uh, vendors in this huge spot everywhere. And they got big. It's like just it's huge. It's huge, man. Like you can go into the boutiques and stuff. Some watches you can touch, some you can't. Uh, but if you guys go over there and check it out if you're curious if you want to know some more about watches and wonders that's one of the channels that i will refer you to oh so coming to the stage ladies and gentlemen he is no stranger to this channel i call him big sexy because kevin nash actually stole his idea he stole his image from this man welcome my man ripsaw joe what's happening baby going on buddy man uh i'm actually man i'm, I'm in a good i'm in a good mood bro i, I feel good right now feel that's good. a good thing yeah my grandbaby just left a minute ago and hey, let's get us let's get us uh yeah tighten shots there we go there we go yeah baby girl just left i spent time with her fed her laugh we watched some movies and or tv shows and and uh she danced for me it was hilarious man so <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah man well, I had my son's wedding on Saturday, so that went great. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember you telling me that, man. Congratulations. Thank you. You have a daughter-in-law now. That's yeah. awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Bro, so. It looks like you guys had a great time over the weekend. Bro, and that's what I want to talk about, really. I, t You know what? I had, you know, I, I, I joke with Felix. Y'all know I do the imitation of Felix, right? Mm -hmm. Felix imitated me yesterday and had me crying, bro. Oh my really? gosh. Yes, dude. He literally had me in tears, man. <laughs> <laughs> he um, uh, you know, um, I think he was more of a sponge, man. I think he was more of a sponge with like he was asking, he was talking to people, man. And I know he's a newer collector, man, but he was getting some information. And Felix's collection is actually pretty nice, man. I was looking at oh, him. Yeah. His collection is phenomenal. 
He's got some nice stuff. That's for sure. Yeah, man. He got he got some heat, man. Um, but the most the most beautiful thing about this weekend was uh, the camaraderie, the people. That's and, what it's all about, bro. You know, so you know, you all people. It, it is so easy for us. We compare stuff, right? So I was comparing yesterday. I was like, okay, what event have I been to that can compare to something like that, man? And I mean, I think each individual like cruise we've been on had his own vibe. I still say 2018 was one of the best, one of the most legendary Invicta cruises ever. 2020, I'm gonna call it one of. I'm gonna say that's how you end it because COVID ended everything for us. Uh, so it's like you started out in 2017. I was listening to you know Bob Cohen and people like that that told me that the cruise was okay because they were just kind of filling it out. But 2018 they showed out and I enjoyed it. 2019 was eh, it was okay, you know, in comparison. 2020 was, was dope. Kenny did. I know he he don't collect Invicta like that anymore, but Kenny did an event out in Tennessee a couple years ago. That was dope. I, I like that. But this past one, bro, when we got there, you know, we were talking and we were setting it up like, okay, this is the plans, this is what we want to do. And as people came in that Friday night, uh, we just, you know, getting to meet people. I met some other collectors, uh, talk, we laugh, play games. I'm talking about ate good, drank good, the whole nine. But it was Saturday. Oh, man, opened up with prayer and – Everybody had their watches. They brought their watches. They brought their watches, set them on the table. Yep. And we just went for it, bro. It, it, I'm talking, it was a blast, man. It wasn't a dull moment in that thing. The whole time we was there wasn't a dull moment, bro. And then we got on a ferry. We got on a ferry. I put, I've never done a ferry, bro. Really? <laughs> yes, bro. Really? I, I was like, this is go? different. So, like, it takes you from one side of the city to the next. You know what I'm saying? Like, it. It was crazy, bro. That's like cool. we were in Williamsburg, and it took us back towards to where the, the Garrets live at. And I was like, I was tripping out, bro. I was like, yo, so you drive your car on this? I'll say, I've seen this in movies, yeah, but I've never experienced it. I, it, I was done, bro. Well, we take we take the ferry out to uh, Martha's Vineyard, you know where Jaws was <laughs> the movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Joe yeah. is not as sexy as Kevin Nash. <laughs> That's the wrong show, bro. <laughs> Man, you crazy, bro. So, um, yeah, so the biggest thing, you know, my biggest takeaway was just the camaraderie, bro. Like, I, I really, you know, um, outside of that, man, I really don't have any, no, no complaints about anything. And that does open up that the gate. When I came back, we did talk about watches after all the fun and stuff. And, uh, the course, the million dollar question is okay. Here it is. We're in April, and watches and wonders has happened. We have micro micro events that's happened, and then we still got some other stuff to go. But like, what's the number one watch to get? What type of collector are you going? I mean, like, what are you going after, man? And, and uh, that was a question that was posed to me. So I'm gonna hit y'all. What watches are you going after right now, if any? Right now, none. I'm just waiting to. Mm. Waiting to have something slap me, like Godfather says, you know. Okay. Um, but I was going to ask you a question. Yes, sir. When you were out, out there with all those people this weekend, did you happen to ask any of them, have they bought anything else other than Victors lately? Uh, you know what? Some have stalled. Some have, like, they're sitting back because they they collect, strictly collect Invicta, and the feedback I got, was like Invicta's not really making anything that slaps me in the face. They're yeah. just really getting me to jump. So I'm just kind of holding back, hoping that you know they'll pull out something. Uh there were a group of people that said, hey, I'm buying watches from back in the day. That's where I'm at. I, I, I'm buying yeah, older, older pieces. Uh now there were some interest because I did bring my I actually brought my um my watch roll with me that uh and this is around here somewhere. I brought my watch roll with all the rest of my uh my other watches and I let them see those and they were like wow they were impressed with you know some of the styles yeah. and um yeah man uh oh uh oh ladies oh, and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen hold up <clears throat> we got to do this right yeah man uh 
All I'm gonna say is, man, I'm I'm the number one collector now, and uh, you guys better listen to me at this point because uh, I know what's going on. So, welcome to the stage, everybody, man. The man, the myth, the legend, Felix the Great, man. What's going on, baby? Man, yo, it's crazy, man. You know, you know, it's crazy, man. Let me say this. Let me say this, though. Let me say this. What what's crazy about him, Victor? Though, what's crazy about him, Victor? Uh. Yeah, man, I'm so glad you said that. I'm so glad you said that. Uh, you know, but uh, what's crazy is, man, <laughs> I told you I could do him too. You know, hey, crazy he, is. he did that yesterday at breakfast, bro. This dude had me crying, bro. I'm so glad you said that. But look, look, and then he does the hand. Look, so let me say hey, this. Bro. Hey, for real, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what's up, guys? What's up? Hey, Phil. How's it going? Uh, good, Joe. Good, Joe. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Oh man, uh, hey, yo, yo, yo. okay. We was having fun, man. Somebody must have called the police, man. So this dude trying to bust up the party, man. How can I help you, sir? Oh Lord, how can first, I help you? First and foremost, good evening, right. everybody. Good evening, sir. How you doing? Good evening, Second and foremost, Felix, you gotta go. No, you wow. gotta go. You gotta go, Felix. No, no, you, you gotta, gotta go. go with that voice, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you, man. You gotta, you gotta go with go that face. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all this, bro. Uh, Phil- my name is Phil- my name is Phil- 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 the Great from Alabama. Phil- hey, hold Alabama. Up, you, you don't sound that good. The strap does it better. Felix got knighted this this weekend, bro. He got knighted, bro. That dude was official. He's he oh, he's Sir Felix. Now Felix he's Sir Felix Alabama. Hey man, so I'm gonna hey 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 Popo, you gonna have to back up off of Felix, bro. Before right. I put you two into a battle, bro. To a battle. I'll tell situation. you what. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I win what battle you automatically. You you win automatically. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got okay. one piece. I got one piece. Everybody stops their eyes at. That's all. One piece. One. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Jay? I'm crazy as hell. How you doing? Everybody doing all right? Man, doing good, man. Hey, what's up, Scott? Welcome in. Welcome in. Hey, Scott. Uh, we're just hey. having a conversation, man. I, I would like to know uh, from the people in the chat as, as well as you guys are up here, man. Um, let me ask you this, Jay Jones. What kind of collector do you think you are, man? If you if you had to sum it up, what type of collector? Middle, middle of the road. Middle of okay. the road. Pieces I like. It's like lately, I'm believe it or not, lately I'm getting into the automatic ghosts, anatomics, and stuff like that. Because mm-hmm. those are stuff I never, you know, I don't have. So I'm going that way. Like, you know, you, you, you're you going pieces like you guys are showing your pieces. Yeah. I'm gonna, you know, some, some pieces online, like you said this week, what you guys are doing. Right. I'm going to try to show pieces just like that, you know. Right, right. The complications. Stuff. Com- okay. Yeah, yeah, complications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the ghosts. The speedway ghosts and the and the uh, specialty ghosts and all the other you know the ghosts they're complicated complicated piece, pieces so we're gonna do stuff like that with you this week. Okay. Okay. And I got a I got a what's your name I got a a moon voy a moon voyage you know the moon voyage and stuff like that so I got a couple. Oh pieces. yeah 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 I actually uh, I actually have one of them uh, over yeah. here. Yeah, with the yeah. with the astronaut and the on the dial and stuff exactly like that. with yeah. that uh I think it's lava stone or something lava like stone that. right yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. one of them I'll show you know but that that's the kind of thing I'm looking for different stuff now trap instead of the the you know not too expensive because you know I'm poor now I don't have the money you guys have I'm poor you poor yeah, yeah I'm you poor have money. as many have watches money. as you buy you can get that them good ones I don't have the money I don't have the money Felix and Joe and you have yeah, but we're not buying seven a week still. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on, hey, uh, hold up, hold up, uh, Felix. This man buys seven a day. What you talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that that's at least five hundred dollars. I mean, Felix, I, yeah, Felix, uh, five hundred. DJ, <laughs> Gary, cut it out, cut it out. DJ, you, you're messing it up. Gary, <laughs> I'm messing it up, Felix. All yeah, right. you're messing it up. Hey. You're, taking, you're taking the fun out of it. <laughs> Gary. Yeah, Bob. That moves watch is that uh, uh, Invicta or something else? In, all Invicta. Okay. It's Invicta. Uh, uh, hold up, hold up, bro. I think I Wait, got. I got it. Let, me, let me fucking find it. I'll get it out. You can't find it all in boxes. Oh, I, got, oh, I got it right here, bro. <laughs> uh, 
some of that. Oh, okay. One. I've seen that one. I just didn't yeah, know I've seen it, it too. I haven't, I haven't got it, but I've seen it. Is it on sale or something? Eighty nine, ninety nine. I got it for. No, it's eighty nine dollars. One forty nine. Okay, okay. I'm finna is that say. with the? Is that with the coupon? No, that's without the coupon. Thirty hey, percent coupon. Phoenix, I think you know what? I think you would like this, bro. It's yeah, I do. I, I, do. I, I, it, it well, I got the white and the black. Is that thirty? Is that thirty percent still active? Yes, yeah. it is. I, I think you like one this. Oh, there he go. See, you talk about me, and this one has that's the white. One. That's not seven. Trap. This has the white. <laughs> oh, what did he just get a delivery? <laughs> that has the white. Probably did. Oh, and I got the. Hey, oh, oh. I do it on Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Talk came, about hey, when I came home, I came home. This is on the porch. And uh, after I came in, I had to work today. Then I came back home and I crashed out for a while. I forgot all about it. Talk what about it. There, it. it ain't, I don't think it ain't watchers, though. Talk about I me. I know what they are. It ain't watchers. I know what they are. He got yeah. he, he got stands he got watch stands so he can get more watches. Yeah. Oh, watch stands? No, that's smart though, bro. Like we, you know what I'm saying? So well, my watch room is running out of space, so I'm gonna have to yeah. uh, shrink it. Do a little you taking watches for me, Felix? I am. I am. <laughs> but you already got a few stands, but not. I think I I think I ordered sixteen of them. I actually that's got a smart, box. Bro. That's smart, I have a box man. like that. I have a box like that coming Wednesday, Felix. I bought more myself. Yeah, well, it had a twenty percent off uh, that yeah. I used, so I got them. But it, it, the NFL one, yeah. I got a few NFL ones, and then a few of the the yellow ones, the red. Yeah, ones. That's, that's what I got, the yellow ones. Yeah, well, actually, I got the uh, the different ones, not the tall ones like these. I got the short ones. Oh, which one? Let me see. Yeah, I mean they've been out, so then that's not nothing new, but it's got a cushion on it. This new to us. Oh, oh yeah, I got a couple of those. Yeah. yeah. I, I have a few of those, not many, but I have a few. I mean, they were eight bucks, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Oh, they're nice. Uh, and those, yeah. those, Felix, those come with the little flags that say Swiss made. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, that's another so, reason why I bought them. So Felix, those are good for when you do go on uh like an event and if you want to do a display, you know what I'm saying, or expo, so like when you go on a cruise, those uh, are really nice to bring with you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And they're easy to pack away and stuff like that. Yeah, I think they're cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we do buy a lot of watches, man. Um, out, that little flag. But uh Joe, going back to uh what you were talking about, man. Um, or what we were talking about. I'm following suit. I'm not uh I'm not really jumping at anything too much right now. Um if I if I were to get any timepiece right now, uh I think I would go glycine airmen. Uh, that they, they got the full loom dial, and maybe possibly the um, oh my gosh, it's called the Reef. Um, I can't, it, the name of the company is escaping me, but um, yeah, it's not too, it's not really too many watches out right now that I really, you know, what I'm saying like I just gotta have, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's not man, shoot. I mean, for the past, dude, if speaking of which. <laughs> Oh, let me see what we got in here. Yeah, I know. Let's see what you got new today. We're looking. I ain't get nothing. I ain't get anything. New. Yeah, all right. Tell me anything. I didn't, bro. I'm gonna I'm show you. I'm gonna show you three watches, three micro brands mm -hmm. that I think are super complete, just the way they sit. That you picked up today? No. Oh, yeah, I picked up yesterday. Okay, on the way home. Right. What's that one in the middle? I like that. The visitor doing shore. Yeah. Very, very classy. The Zellos. I've been Black looking Bill. at that one. I've been mm -hmm. looking at that one. Beautiful watch. Beautiful watch, man. And the loom on it is crazy. And then my Jack Mason. Yeah. These three right here are, I mean, they're solid watches, man. And, and then, of course, I got this one right here, man. But, I mean, and then I have my, uh, my Casio's. And I got, man, it was a Casio that I forgot I even had, y'all. I was going through my boxes and stuff, and I was like, crap. Oh, I think I got it over here. Joe. Yo. What do you think about Wing with his stuff that he's coming out with lately, man? That's the latest one he just come out with? I really don't care for it. I, I, I It looks kind of tinny to me. I don't know. Uh, Which one? Are you talking about the uh, carbon fiber? 
No, the the kind of square or octangle one. Oh, oh yeah, I, saw, I saw that too. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a, not a big fan of that one. He just brought another one out. Wait a minute, Dave D said leave glycine alone. I can't, bro. Hey, glycine, glycine I just, is bought, <laughs> I just got like four glycines in myself. The, the five, five elements. Glycine. You got five. Yeah, elements. yeah. yeah. I, got, I got five glycines, like the wood, the water, the the. The fire, the, the metal, all, yeah. all of it, man. It's kind of cool. Yeah, we, we know. We know, J. Jones. <laughs> plus, you got the, plus, you got the, plus, they have the interchangeable bands, you know, so. You got interchangeable bands, huh? Yeah. What else you got? Well, I'll say I got a, a tech, techno, techno marine air okay. with interchangeable band. The, uh, the, the uh the blue like that light blue it has a white and a black band that's about, I ain't get nothing else new yet nothing else new nah just well not I, I got I got some surprises coming up for next week hey bro when you gonna buy uh an, an airman I'm gonna need you to buy I'm gonna need you to buy a glycine airman I don't got no money you gonna you gonna make help me out with it how how can I help you out man are you serious right now? You're <laughs> buying 14 watches a week. Bro, you got it. Hey, that Moon Explorer y'all got, what color did y'all get? Uh, this one I got is blue. Like I got blue. white. The white. Yeah. And I got the and I got the black one coming in. That so that Superman color one is really dope. Uh-huh. If they still got that one. I saw that one at first. Like like that one I like that one. Can you see that? That's the one. Yeah, that one. I like that one. That's yeah, that's my yeah. favorite. That's my favorite. Right, one one eighty. Where's that on? Not, not for me. That's before the thirty percent. So not for me. It ain't one eighty for me. Yeah. Uh, uh, it'll be cheaper than that once I put the thirty percent on. <laughs> Take it easy, there, buddy. I know. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> no, JJ. Am I giving stuff away? JJ, show me that. Show me yours again. Let me see yours. With the white one? Yeah. Hold on. That's right. That's right. That's not considered. You you don't have you have an original. So we got to fix you up, Jay Jones. I need you. I need you to go get a a, a glycine. That's area. cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. White. Is that an automatic? Yes, sir. Oh, it is. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so and it guys. I will see, forewarn you, you. The I white one's cheaper. You. So the white, one, the white one's one forty nine. We're about to be interrupted by one of the greatest acts on YouTube and Instagram, if you will. This man shut down the entire country to have a day named after him. This is how great this guy is, man. Basel World went out of business because he said, "Hey, you know what? I want watches and wonders," and they God made man. it happen. So please welcome the great DK. Oh, <laughs> God, the degenerate lizard. <laughs> the degenerate is in town. Oh, hey, yeah. degenerate. One and only. What up, DK? In... What's oh, up, brother? goodness. Oh. Oh. You gentlemen doing? I feel no. What's up, DK? What's up, man? <laughs> Do you guys have fun in Virginia? Tear it up. Oh, man, oh, it was yeah, a blast. It, bro. It was a blast. Yeah. I mean, not gonna lie, I was a little, I was a little jealous, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun, man. I, I want me, I want me a wall clock too. Hey, hey DK. Yeah. yeah. This, this was terrible, yeah. out of Virginia, man. This was terrible. Yeah, right. I, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at you. Call. I'm a, it's too I'm bad. It's too bad we can't man. impersonate faces because. <laughs> I'm just messing. With you. I'm just messing with your feelings. <laughs> you might break the screen. Hey man, Felix. you sound like, you you didn't Felix. sound like Felix, bro. You sound like a wino, man. Right. Damn. Damn. Damn, man. Right. I just need another hit, man. Man, hey, you need to redo, redo. I, I think you you know what? You probably be better off imitating Joe. I think you, that's the same. Ah. Because you Felix, bro. I'm gonna imitate you in a minute, track. No, you can't imitate me, bro. Don't show me that. Don't show me that. I'm afraid of it. Hey, man, so that red one is 180. The white one is 150, I guess, because it's white. Then with the 30% off, it takes it down to 127. 
They got a black one too, Phil. Yeah, I saw it. I saw yeah, it. Yeah, that, that so the red one is the was the most popular one. Yeah, yeah that one's for this for that reason, it's more than a yeah, white one. Yeah, that's the most popular. popular. Yeah, the setters only oh. had uh, one left, so I might be buying the last Mr. one. Mr. Uh Degenerate Lizard King. Degenerate <laughs> Lizard right. King, yeah. In other words, he's Godzilla. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but remember oh, no. King Thank Kong you. beat Godzilla. Yeah. He Godzilla. You know what, Yo, bro? That's it, right? What'd you say? King Kong beat Godzilla. Man, King Kong didn't beat shit, JJ. <laughs> oh, listen. Uh, I'm gonna that's be just like, in the movies. In real life, Godzilla win, man. He got that well, shoot wait, at him. Wait a minute. I'm going to be like Denzel in training. King Kong has nothing on me. Die. Yeah, but Denzel <laughs> died at the end, so. That's all right. Yeah. No, it's it. not. So did King Kong. In, in so did King Kong. <laughs> yeah, he hey, got shot hey, up, too. I mean, he got shot if, we're, up. if we're talking, if you're talking movie, now, spoiler alert, King Kong does get the best of um, Godzilla for a second. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't for well, the first one, he did. The first one he did was about to kill King Kong. I'm just yeah. saying, King Kong is whipped in the history of movies. We already know he's whipped. Oh, yeah. that's true. <laughs> hey, once he met Faye Ray, he was gone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey man, I don't blame him. I got that sickness too, man. I got that weakness. <laughs> once I met right? <laughs> once I met that girl, he was gone, man. That was yeah. it. Bro. He fell in love, and that was it. Look. <laughs> That's you know what that was just an analogy. That was a lot of men around the world. Mm -hmm. That's all that was. That's all that movie was based off of. Like, hey man, this is you. <laughs> That's all that was. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, so uh DK, bro, we we've been talking. Um, I had some very good conversations this weekend, man. And uh, you know, we're talking about it. watches. Mm -hmm. I watched, I watched a number of the um the uh, Watches and Wonders show. And I'm not going to say I was very, very impressed with, not the fact that like they, their presentation was, was dope, but I just wasn't impressed with how they covered it because it was more like, eh, the way these guys are covering it. And uh, everybody's talking about the same thing, bro, like yeah. Rolex. And then, oh, uh, Rolex failed. And Tudor was good. And I'm like, okay, what other watch company was there? Nobody, y'all didn't cover nothing else? So I still got to do some more digging, man, but I don't know, bro. Like, man, help me out here, bro, because I know you've been searching. What's what what should be on our radar right now? I'm still looking at 2000 models, like early 2000s. Okay. So yeah, the first decade after the millennium, like that's that's where it's at right now. Because you look at the technology to make watches, it hasn't really improved by a lot since then. So you're getting solid ass watches that are 24 years old, but they still feel like they're made today. And, you know, the great thing about that is the people selling them, they're, they're willing to negotiate because these aren't popular watches anymore. They're not hyped. They're not new. So you can find some really good deals like from any brand, you know, from Rolex, Tudor, I mean, Evicta, you know, any Tag Heuer, like any name, any brand that you can think of. If you're willing to go 20 years in the past, you can find some really good watches. So that's what I recommend doing. That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Guess what? Mm -hmm. I got somebody sent me uh, two watches that a guy is selling on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. They are uh, Omegas, right? Automatics. Yeah. One is $1,800. The other one is $2,200. Mm -hmm. I was like, are those like 300 He was like, yep. I said, yo. Yep. That's crazy. I mean, that ain't bad. That's not cheap, but that that ain't bad. It, it, it's not because, yeah. like, if you think about it, bro, that I mean, the one that's eighteen hundred dollars. I mean, bro, you can get a Christopher Ward for that much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like the Bel Bel Canto costs more than that. That's what five grand. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. which the Bel Canto is a really nice watch, though. To be honest, I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. You? Yeah. <laughs> is you think because it's it's useless? No, nah, I mean, I just, well, first of all, let me preface this by saying I've never seen one in person. I've never held one. So it's an uneducated opinion. Okay. Um, but from what I've heard, I heard, have you held one? Yes. I heard they're super light. They are. Okay. So see, I can't get down with that. Like, they are. I like, I like my watches like I like my woman trap. It's just how it is. Yeah. A little bit of me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want some? 
pushing for the cushion. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to tell you something, bro. I think, you know, when you look at it, the details, it's a beautiful watch. Yeah. It just, for me, it didn't resonate because I'm like, okay, this watch is completely useless to me. Then the complication part of it, I love it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dude, that's crazy thing chimes. But you know me, I love a good dive watch, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I could take a dive watch all day. Or, I like, I've been falling in love with Fliegers. I like, hey, bro, like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the old childhood, because I do remember some, like, back in the day, mm-hmm. uh, we had a guy on my block that was in the Air Force. And he used to wear Fliegers all the time. So, um, I do have a passion for those right now, but I'm not jumping uh, mm-hmm. on anything. I looked at the IWC uh, Big Crown, that sucker. That's expensive though, but yeah, um, yeah IWCs man. are are overpriced. I mean, every watch is overpriced, but IWCs are like exceptionally overpriced. Yeah, yeah. Hey Joe, I'm not seeing the little uh, Swiss thing in these, man. I opened up another one that's not in there. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. They cheaping out. Maybe the first one that fell out, but I opened up another one and. It's not in there. He said all, watches are like cracks. All the, ones I, all the ones I bought had a little baggie in there with the like yeah. six different. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I bought this stock because I in the picture they had they showed it. I was like, oh, yeah. man, I, I remember yours. But now I open up two of them and there's not one in either one of them. So Dr. Bob's. Yeah, you Bob's. You see Dr. Bob's, you know. Dr. Bob's, I'm gonna tell you this. I went to a Michael Brand event two weeks ago and I record. I didn't record as much as I normally do, man, because I really want to just enjoy it. And dude, I, I just, man, I was up and down the stairs looking at watches. I was trying watches on, man. I was, I was. Check the bottom of the boxes, Felix. All of them. Make sure. I, I just enjoyed uh-huh. it. So check I the bottom of your boxes. Make sure. I did. I did. Yeah. I mean, it would be pretty obvious, but did you see some heat this weekend, Trap? Yeah, nothing in there. Some the heat. Yes, I did. Tell me about it. Who's browsing as a guest? A, uh, that's, if, if you guys are talking about a watch, I got this up here so I can pull it up. So oh, oh, okay. oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so so I didn't know that Invicta back in the day, like they got puppies that go way back. They were Swiss made. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I got an educational lesson. Mm-hmm. The Valju 77s, the Etta, um, the Etta 2824, Godfather had on an original uh, Times Square which you flip it up and it is a Etta 2824-2, highly decorated, and the watch was amazing. Still on, a, like, original leather, man. Uh-huh. That watch was, man. And there's only other, uh, I know uh, Victor Ryan has one, too. That is, I mean, super sexy watch, man. Is That's one? one. Hold on, let me see. Yes, 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 okay. yes. Yes, sir. Nice. Yes, sir, man. That thing, it kind of gives you that reverso vibes, but it's, it's bigger than a reverso, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, dog, that watch was... Mm. Okay. All right. Mm. Bro, classic. So that right there, I, I'm just going to say. And then uh, I was impressed with the ladies, man. The ladies don't stray away from the, the big watches, man. And, and fellas. Well, I was impressed this weekend with that track. Huh? I was impressed this weekend with that. The ladies, they got them the big ladies, stuff like everybody else does. Bro, the ladies do not shy away from big watches, bro. Nope. Mm-hmm. They like, man, I don't care about nothing. Like, so Penny was rocking a uh, Magnum with the uh, media right and the diamonds around it, man. It's killing it, man. That watch still reminds me of the Sapphire Ghost. Yes. Now, you know what? I was looking at that, and... Uh, somebody had one at the uh, event. I wouldn't mind having one in my collection. I'm sold, I'm sold on it. I'm sold on it. Sapphire Ghost? Yeah, I'm sold on it. I, I looked at it and I looked it up against my wrist. I said, you know what? I can rock this. I, I can definitely rock this thing. Now, I like it. Oh, yeah. Yep, there you go. What, this one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So is it sapphire? Is it just called a sapphire ghost, or does it have a sapphire crystal? It got sapphire, it's crystal. sapphire crystal. Okay, nice. Yep. Finally. Back, 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 back. Oh wait a minute, hold on. You got one. Hold on. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me make that make you big real quick, bro. Uh, what is this going on? Maybe because you gotta get rid of the screen share. Yeah, there. No, you go. there you go. There I got it. 
All right, very nice. Oh, I like that band you got on it. Too. It's got the, the sapphire crystal on the side and the back too. Oh, nice. And this came with a leather band, but I put the uh, the mesh band on it. Now that that's what I was that's what I was yeah, bro. I like that. That is nice, bro. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, does that mean Invicta is is starting to embrace sapphire crystals more now? On a particular one. So the one that I have, bro. Um, hold up. It's just certain ones, bro. Mm. So let me make myself big real quick. So this piece right here, sapphire on the front and the back. So you got sapphire in both spots. Oh, nice. Is that the um, R150? Yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. Yep. I, I really like this watch, man. This yeah. is a really nice piece, bro. Right, get out of here. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah, I, I like that, man. But I'm 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 with you on that, DK. I'm uh um I'm not really impressed with like what's coming out, man. And um I'm with you. I think it, and this is something I I highly encourage anybody that's watching this, man. I would definitely go for those watches that you may have missed a year, two years ago. Mm -hmm. Go back. I mean, sure, you go back now, you may find it. I guarantee you'll find it at a better price. Guarantee you. Here's, no. here's an Invicta that this is kind of like my grail Invicta. Okay. And, and there's really nothing special about it. Um, hold on, 4793. It's a four digit one. Invicta 4793. Like it's, it's just a generic, like NH35, you know, Invicta. But I, I don't know if this was a, oh, it is a pro diver. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this one, like, it, these are so hard to find and I it's want one so bad. Clean. Yeah. It's clean. Yeah, like there was one guy selling it, and that mofo wouldn't answer any of my messages. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm willing to pay you double what you're asking for, and he just wouldn't respond to my messages. So, wow. <laughs> yeah, but I, I like it. It's kind of like got that Panerai vibe to it, you know, or or maybe like an Omega something, yeah, Omega Planet Ocean kind of thing. It's just a clean looking watch. I like it. So let me ask you this, bro. What do you think, like long jeans right now? Would you put anything from long jeans in your collection? Yeah, yeah, why not? They're, they're clean. They're a good watch company. Um, they they have one. I mean, like I don't know. They're kind of boring when compared to like Invicta styles. But uh, Longine Conquest uh, Heritage. Um, this one. So I like it because. So, you know, it's kind of plain. I get it. It's kind of boring. But that sub dial in the center, yeah. that's, a, that's a power reserve sub dial. So, you oh, know, wow. it's kind of cool, you know. I, and, you know, I'm into that, like, boring conservative style now. Hey, um, hey, yo, yeah. hey degenerate. Yo. Some of, the, some of the plain style watches may be boring, but that's, that's a great style to have, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Check this one out, DK. Okay, nice. What that's a uh, pro diver? Yeah, that's a, that's model number six three five three. It's actually Swiss made GMT. Okay. Mm. Automatic. Yeah. Damn, six three five three. <laughs> uh oh, it what? is the rabbit hole. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Damn. What movement is that? And with a mesh bracelet too. Yeah. Yeah, with a mesh. And it's got like a sun sunburst dial too. That's clean. Uh, you yeah. got them in stock. Oh, out of stock. Yeah, dude, eighty nine dollars back in the day. This was going for eighty nine bucks. Yo, there's no way this is an automatic GMT. Maybe not that one. You gotta be, bro. Yeah. No, they did. They did that back in the day, bro. Yeah. Now don't ask me what movement. It got to be Chinese. A Chinese movement in there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, four digit. How old? How old are four digit models? That's like early two thousands, right? Early, yep. Okay. Early to mid. Nice. <clears throat> I've been looking at um, Tissot. Actually, has um, we were talking about having complications and watches that like cost certifications, and mm -hmm. Tissot actually has a few pieces that you can get that's cost certified for under 
Uh, one is a thousand dollars. The other one is under a thousand. Yeah. Uh, but I was mistaken. It's not automatic movement. I'm sorry. Okay, I was about to say like yeah. that's a hell of a good deal. Let me see. I'm looking for it now. I forgot the model number of this thing. Okay, the Tussauds Heritage 1938. That thing is right now is going for eight retailing for 825. This one right here with yes. the silver sub dial? Yes, bro. That's clean. Hey Joe, oh, does the base come off of this stand? Where are you? Yes. The base yeah, it slides, it slides, Felix. Okay, I got you. I want I like how do you get a bracelet on him? Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, get, I got a strap on there. I was like, wait a minute, how do you get a bracelet on him? Hey, okay. don't feel bad, Felix, because I was like that when I first got it. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't cover no instructions, you know. I mean, I'm like that. I gotta have I I for eight dollars to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, hear you, I can't figure it out. I just asked Joe. <laughs> uh-huh. Go to the expert. Yeah. Let me see. That's, that's uh, what we all here for. Go to the expert. Go to Joe. JJ, what's your body count this month? Uh, Excuse me? What's your body count this month? What body watches, count? How many watches you order this month? This month? How, how many did you order this month? Don't don't worry about me. This is about you. you know, uh, <laughs> I ordered two. Don't the first one, the last one. <laughs> the one in the middle don't count. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, he said the 14 in the middle don't count. So uh -huh. it's 21. one. Is, I mean, um, 21? Yeah. Bro, we 15 days in, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? That's one point one point one a day. <laughs> and I got it, I got four coming in third that, Wednesday and three coming in Thursday. Yeah. That's actually one point four a day. Yeah. Felix. <laughs> you, yeah, I'm not that good at math. I was yeah. But but no, what it is, I'm gonna tell you something, DK. What it is, mm -hmm. I'm getting the pieces like like some of the anatomic speedways with the uh Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The um, the space one, that trap, trap was you know looking at stuff like that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm getting stuff like that. Yeah, yeah stuff yeah. like that. I'm getting that. You know what I mean? Uh oh, I'm getting, oh, there you go, I'm getting, I'm getting stuff like this. Hey man, man, look at this, man. I, stuff like this. I think you missed the college, right? I'm getting stuff like this. I'm getting stuff <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. You know? yeah. 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 Automatics. Yeah. Put it on the big screen, try. Oh, 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 stuff okay. like that, you know. Hey, show me again, Jerry. What that one was? Show, show us again, Jerry. Okay, okay. Let me uh, ask you something. How much did you pay for that? Uh, seventy nine after the coupon. So, for those at home that y'all seen that watch, that watch came out on Shop HQ uh, nearly two years ago. So that watch. Was like two ninety nine on shop. If you went to Invictus stores, that watch was four ninety nine. And if you got the turb, they had one with the turbine. Mm -hmm. That one was over a thousand dollars. Well, this yeah. one, this one has the NH seventy. That's one Rally Diablo NH seventy. That got the, okay. All right. Uh, and it was eighty nine ninety nine. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, I remember when that came out. Seems like that is crazy. Now, yeah. let me just say this, man. Um, because like I the title, I forgot what I even titled this darn chat about, you know what I'm saying? What type of collector you are, whatever. Who cares? Because like people people don't care, I don't think too much care about what type of collector. Uh the messy people are gonna always bring up something. Oh, oh, what are we doing? What are we looking at? Oh no! I'm just pulling up my uh, Invicta Gladiator because <laughs> the price on this thing was ridiculous. Right, bro. No, this is so. Okay, I'm gonna get to that point. I just don't feel like people really care mm -hmm. what you collect. I know some people like to be messy, but whatever. Let me see. I really like. The, okay, I seen that comment. Um, but I have seen. I'm telling you, bro. In this past year and a half. I have seen the prices of these watches drop so it is so crazy. It is so crazy. It's a good and bad thing. Mm -hmm. And, and, and y'all, I mean, y'all jump in and, and tell me how y'all feel about it. But like for me, 
I remember a time where trying to get a Venom, and uh, especially an automatic Venom, it was high. Trying to get the Magnum back in 2016 for me was it was extremely high because those were, I think, the cheapest one that I saw was like $599 for the uh, Z60. If you got the one with the Salida 500, that was $1,400. Well, fast forward to 2024, the same watches, those reserve pieces that I like, like sacrifice stuff for, dang, they sold the kidney for, it's like two to three hundred dollars cheaper than what you're right. know saying, what, 80 bucks. Mm-hmm. And I guess that's cool for new collectors, man. But I'm like, bro, I don't see Mercedes dropping the prices of their cars, bro. BMW ain't dropping the price. Yeah. I mean, your reserve, yeah, your top, your creme de la creme. Why are they so cheap now, bro? Like, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's what's tough. That, to... What's that? What's that, Joe? That's another four digit watch model number. Mm-hmm. That's, excursion. A, that's an excursion. Okay, nice. A Swiss made excursion. Is that an automatic? 6246. That's automatic. They got a uh, probably a Salida. I probably got a salute of 200. Yeah. Three hand movement in there. See, I can't keep up with you guys, man. You can't keep up with you guys, man. You can't keep up with you guys, Let me speak on different ways. I tell you, uh, DK and all y'all, I learned a lot going down to uh, uh, Virginia, man. I'm mean, with Trap and uh, uh, Jason. I mean, and Godfather. They, Father, they yep. know the history of watches. You know, they know they can look at a watch and for the most part, one of them gonna know what kind it is was in there, you know. Uh, so it was it was educational for me too. I learned a lot going down there. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. Or well, up there. Yeah, that, is this that one was crap? Cool. crap. What's up? Look, oh, look at this one. Oh man, I like that one. Ooh. Ooh. That's an that's an ocean reef. I don't do they make that anymore? Nope. Yeah. You can get them, but they don't make them. You can that's get them still, but they, they don't they haven't made one. Yeah. And that's another that's another Swiss made four digit, you know, model number. Mm-hmm. And if they and if they do when they do make those watches, bro, now the remakes, mm-mm. Mm-mm. It not ain't, the same. It, it's not, man. It's not, bro. Now I know that um there's there's some collectors that you know would love to collect micro brands, but it's like they can't deal with anything less than 47 millimeters it got to be bigger you know what i'm saying which mm-hmm. i don't know any company like uh kokomo watch companies making a watch that that big and i mean diesel and i don't i don't know any other companies making uh anything over 47 millimeter micro brand wide you're you know, you're kind of getting I mean, into the smaller sizes now right trap what's your what's your size preference so for me, uh, I rock a 40 to 44 millimeter. I still, man, my, my pro divers, my 47s, that's that's like my sweet spot. Um, but I have gotten into, like, I don't know, man. It's just something about the craftsmanship behind it, man, the stories, man. I'm really digging into that, man. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with a 40, man. I, I mean, it, it don't bother me at all. I thought you were yesterday morning, right? A 40 inch, 40 millimeter, man. You said what you say, Felix? Is that what you wore yesterday morning? Like a 40 millimeter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that nomadic on. The um, nomadic, yeah. The nomadic, yeah. That's I mean, this like this is like one of my go-tos. Um, I really like it, you know what I'm saying? I like the richness of them, you know what I'm saying? It's like they put so much into the dials, in my opinion. And some of them are like super simple, man. Like um my Jack Mason is just a all white dial, black contrast, nothing else special to it, man. It's just it's a comfortable watch. I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Crap, what okay. size is that you can do Is that like a 43? 44? Yeah, like a 44 millimeter. Yeah, because I, I, I never thought I would wear one of those, but I don't mind it now. You know what I mean? You it know, plays big. That right. thing is really that's a nice watch, bro. You got you know, really nice. to I got a 44 millimeter uh citizen. So I mean I I I would not not buy them, you know what I'm saying? If it if it's something yeah. I wanted, I'd buy it. But I, no. I prefer 30 at 48 and bigger. You got to talk about that. The glycine's only 41. I said, ah, that's kind of small. I got it, and I enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. The glycine's are 40. I got it, and I enjoy it. I don't know. 
I guess. So the ocean crawler, that's the indestructible watch. They test the uh, mess out of that watch. Uh huh. Yeah, this watch has been living rent free in my brain for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what brain? <laughs> yeah, well, well, it's been living somewhere, somewhere in here. <laughs> yeah, okay. hey, you get it. Yeah. Remember, I see your post on Instagram every morning, pal. What uh -huh. brain do you uh, have? <laughs> DK, doesn't Billy get a deal on Ocean Crawlers? Uh, he does, but his deals are shit. I was oh, trying to, I was trying to like the, get, get, you know, have him give me the homie hookup, and I wasn't feeling it. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get like you know 50 percent off. You know exactly. What I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Especially if it's you know from the, the homie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. But I get some regular discounts just through emails and stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I wouldn't mind the ocean crawler, man. But you know, I'm, I'm telling you, man, that if any watch you're talking about a watch living rent free in your head, man, it's that glycine for me, bro. The GMT is a 40, 42 millimeter uh, airman, airman, yeah, airman. bro. It's a full, not full on dial. The blue one has been living rent free in my head, bro. Like that watch, it's like it's like $500 over on Joma Shop, not Joma Shop, but uh, Ashford. What, what size is it? 44. It's like a, it's a 42, 42, 42, 42. And I, so Ryan Johnson has one. He got the orange one and I yeah. put it on. I said, Oh my man, that watch dude. Like when you shine the light on it and did a full look that, mm, mm, mm. that watch. Oh my gosh, man. I think just the airmen in, in general, bro. It's just, so this is the white dial version. I don't think they have the, I like Norman watches because they take some like freaking phenomenal. What's the one here in the middle? Pictures. Isn't that orange? What's that? I've never been on this website, bro. Was it orange? I've never been on this website. Before. I love Norman watches. Hold on, JJ. You said what? Wasn't that one orange in the about the fifth one right there? The fourth or fifth one? That one yeah. wasn't that this orange one? or is that yellow? It's like, a, it's like a peach. That a peach? That's, yeah, that's a peach. All right. Yeah, but it like when you have it in hand, it's orange. Or or yeah. sherbet. That looks like a sherbet orange. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah but it's orange and it, it just glows so beautifully, man. Oh, I like this look one. At, look at that, man. That thing, yeah. man, bro. That thing's nasty right there, boy. Look at oh, that. Oh, it's so classic, bro. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. It's got a classic yeah. price. Got me. Yeah. I mean, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you something, bro. Like some of these watches, man, you know, when I was looking at the Christopher Ward stuff, um, there are a lot of watches hitting around that $1,500 mark. Yeah, and um, no I don't particularly want to spend that much on a watch, man. But bro, depending on what it is, it's like I consider it like okay, what do I have to sell to get to this watch? You know what I'm saying? That's that's yeah. my. I mean, but seven eighty, that's in the grand scheme of things, that's not too bad. Like, yeah, it's not cheap, but like, I mean, yeah. how many hundred fifty dollar watches do you buy a month? And that, that's that's Swiss made too, isn't it? What's that? Isn't that uh, Swiss made also? Uh, probably. I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but I don't care about that. But I'm sure it is. Yeah, they, uh, they, they I still. I don't care either. But I was just curious. Yeah. yeah. They still have a fact. Okay, DK. I'm glad you said that, bro. Uh -huh. Um, I'll be I'm, right back. I'm not, I'm not one to subscribe to the right. like. Oh man, it's not Swiss made. It's not. The, I'm like, oh, be quiet, bro. You got a you got a, a bunch of stuff in your house that's not American made, mm -hmm. but you still got yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't even know where it was made at. You just bought it, man, because you're on sale or something, or you thought it was the best, or you got the... I got a Sanyo. You just like it, yeah. Man, shut up. <laughs> just buy your product, man, and keep it moving. Where do you think all the pots for a porter made? <laughs> well, right? All the computer man. pots and shit you, you put put into a port, they're not made here. <laughs> they're not, man. Yeah. They're yeah. not. I mean, hey, you, man, you, you make a lot of stuff, but you got to look at the the product as a whole, you know, and it doesn't really matter where it's from. All that matters is that it's a good product, right? Like, Absolutely. yeah, it is, bro. I'm in, in. That's that's why I met with. It. I've I've got plenty of watches that are Swiss made that are complete fucking garbage. So like, you know, yep. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Um, I mean, look, I got my I got two Hamiltons in my collection. Mm -hmm. And they don't like spec wise. They don't stand up to uh, any of my micro brands. No, not at all. They just don't spec wise. Yeah. <laughs> they fail in comparison. 
No screw down crown, but guess what? I still enjoy those things, man. I, I, don't I actually, it. so people are, aren't going to agree with me, but I think the non, the regular push pull crown is superior to the yes. screw down crown. Okay, enlighten me, sir. All right. So, first of all, we already know that the water tight, water tightness, water resistance of a watch doesn't come from a screw down. Like for you know, like that doesn't increase or decrease its uh, reliability in the water, right? It comes mm. from the gasket. It comes from good seals. Um, with a screw down crown, you're increasing the ability for the user to screw it up. Whether they can over tighten it, they can mm. you know mess up the mess up the threading. With a push pull, you minimize that, so it's like super user friendly. You've got the same amount of water resistance. I mean, what are you gonna like? How many people have accidentally just pulled out their crown? You know, like that doesn't really happen. So, yeah. um, like, I'm, you know, I, I get that. Like, there's an emotional attachment to the screw down crown part because it like makes it seem more tough. Uh, but like, I don't know. There's there's more complications that can come from a screw down crown than a push pull one. You know, and that's just I my. I feel you, bro. I feel you. I mean, yeah. because. That's a real point. Yeah. That, that um, like I said, enlighten me, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that right. is actually that's a solid. I never looked at it from that point. Well, and you got to think, Vostok specifically went out to design, reimagine the screw down crown because too many soldiers were fucking it up because mm -hmm. they were messing up the screw down portion of it. So they like straight up had to redesign it so that they wouldn't break their watches, you know. So like that's yeah. one one element you're completely removing from from the watch wearer to messing it up, you know? Um, Very valid point. Five seconds. That's dope, bro. Mm -hmm. That's dope. Well, gentlemen, I'm going to say good night to you, gentlemen. I'll be on the chat. All right, you, about go, you about to go buy watches. Yeah, right, yeah. What? <laughs> what are you saying, Bill? <laughs> you gonna buy about some I'm watches. about to do what? You about to go buy watches? Mm -hmm. No, nah, man. I got... I know, man. I know, man. That's the one I, thing I, I do is buy watches. All I do is I, 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 yeah. I do that trap. You think the only thing I do is buy watches? I'm like <laughs> DK. I got other things I can worry about. Yeah. All right. Show me your computer screen right now, then. What's that, sir? Show me your computer screen right now, then. I don't. I, I don't have nothing on my computer screen. Uh huh. Sir. Yeah. Right. I don't shop by computer. I shop on my phone. That's why you got to get off. Okay. Yeah. See you later, JJ. <laughs> I, I yeah. said I'm gonna be on the chat. I'm not going. To, I'm not. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna talk to you. You I, I, ugly I, I, people I, I, anymore. That's, that's why. That's why his internet you know never works because he's on the phone. I've been holding off trap all night long for you. <laughs> I've been trying to be nice and holding off all night. But see, you done made me pull the best piece of the house out. And guess oh, what? Oh. I got control of this. Get out. You can bad. <laughs> 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 he said he was going. He, he said he was going. Bye bye, J Show. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. He got the boot. <laughs> hey, y'all check out there. We're talking about smaller watches. This is probably about the smallest one I got. I believe this is like a uh this I mean this gotta be uh 4041. Is that a monster? Uh, it's an islander. Hey, he behind it. Hey y'all look, Jay Jones backstage looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it looks like a monster. Islander? Yeah, that's an islander. Put that when bag down. Uh this I did, I won this uh, uh about a month ago, won it from uh Big Time's little uh raffle. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you told I me that when I won this one. I'm not. I'm it's, not it's putting a, that it's bad. It's a sapphire, so. Nope. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. You know, once I got it, you know, I was worried about it being forty, but again, once you get it, you know, and, and that case back is awesome too, man. It's got a cool uh, case back on there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Not really. What, what <laughs> was you saying, Jay Jones? I said, put me head? back on. I'll put it down. You you put it up there. You go. <laughs> we don't let's listen. This is an anti police station, uh, type of show. <laughs> You're an abusive cop. I gotta be careful because something just came up in Atlanta about the cops with Iran and stuff like that with an alert, attack alert. So you gotta be careful down that way. I'm not going to Iran, no, Atlanta, <laughs> Georgia, ever, ever, Georgia. 
Yeah, in Georgia, let's talk about some kind of attack or something like that, man. Mm. Bro, Georgia's always attacking everybody, bro. What did you mean? No, at, <laughs> Iran is supposed to be attacking place in Atlanta, Georgia. Listen, trap. Clean your Hold ears on, out and listen. I'm going to tell you this. If Iran go to Georgia, man, that's bad for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They got, yeah. They got yeah. better weaponry. They got better weapons down there, George. You don't listen. Iran, <laughs> whoever you are, if you're going to Atlanta, Georgia to attack, are you serious? They got the yeah. biggest gun. Okay. Okay. And I but think I, gotta see, I gotta I couldn't read the whole alert, but that's what they're, they're talking about. God, could you imagine man. if anybody tried to invade America? They would be like, What the right hell? Right now, are you crazy? <laughs> what the hell did we walk into? Bro. Everybody would get their guns out their house. We, all become, we will all become soldiers. Uh-huh. Cause see, the crazy thing is, they gonna like okay, they they got plans for law enforcement. I'm like, all right, they gonna ship their law enforcement. They gonna have SWAT. They gonna do this. We gotta we gotta lock down. But you didn't factor in the average house got at least five guns in it. Yeah. At least five <laughs> guns in it, bro. Are you serious? You cannot come to. America we ain't gonna let y'all. Think- we ain't gonna let y'all step foot in America. So no, not no more. Military in the police, they got rules of engagement, right? Mm-hmm. They sure do. You down. Ain't no talking when you like anybody from Texas, ain't no talking. Anybody right. from it, Chicago, ain't no talking. Anybody from Alabama, ain't no talking. Yeah, yeah. Every, trap. Bro, since the rules of engagement has changed since 9 11, pal. Bro. And you know that. The rules of engagement is if you're not from here and you're trying to invade and wage war, bro, you're done for. Boys out here, man. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. We got way too many guns, man. I just heard a machine gun over in the, in the hood the other day. A machine yeah. gun. Yeah, yeah it keeps keeps the housing prices down. Exactly. <laughs> hey, yeah. I saw that video, bro. I was like, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, once a week I open my window and I, you know, fire off five rounds just to you know. <laughs> see now. I don't do stuff like that. I'm a I'm a law abiding citizen. Uh. You a law bending citizen? What you law abiding citizen? Mm-hmm. Since when? A long time. What's a long time? Since I since a long time. Since he left the force. Since he left the force. <laughs> no, bro. Okay. Then you know. He, then, he, then he started following the laws. <laughs> right, because he's been cooking his whole career, bro. <laughs> Listen. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, what? That's why Trap can't come to New York. <laughs> what? I, That's why Trap you. can't come to New York. I see you. I see you. I'm, I'm watching you, Jay. I'm watching you. Hey, that's how Jay trap? got all these watches. Trap. All that money he's got stashed. Trap. I tell you, I'm not going to pull that anymore. Where is it? Oh, I, I've been out of reach for that. I'm going to be I'm going to be nice. I'm gonna be nice. Pew pew. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pew pew. Dude, oh, I, well. you, I lost all my guns in a boating accident, so it sucks. Oh, I, wow. got, I got nothing left. Mm. What do they you make, want? They make more. They make more. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of one? Ah, no, no, I don't need any. Hey, this is a true statement right there. I used to think guns were expensive. Then I stopped buying watches. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I spent more watches on 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 more money on watches than I have on guns all my life. Mm-hmm. That I'm ain't serious. hard to believe. All that money he confiscated. Right. <laughs> all that drug money. Felix, don't talk about nothing, Felix. Okay. <laughs> I feel it. I don't want to talk about you, Felix. I'm trying to be nice. You're my brother. I'm trying to be nice. Bro, we just stating the obvious, bro. I'm trying to be we nice, just Felix. Just stating the obvious, man. Just stating the obvious. I, I don't want to turn on my brother, Felix. But, uh, don't, don't turn on him, bro. Don't, don't he, turn on him, man. This he's, is a family the screws, show, bro. This, he's putting this the screws family. in my back. You started it with the rah, rah, rah. You didn't, even, you didn't even do it good. I can't even do it good. <laughs> no, right. you did it. Now, this is a very unique voice. You can't just. You got that right. damn right. Closes. Look at so very your, unique. Your, your imitation sound crazy, bro. Very <laughs> unique. When you hear that voice, you want to run away from it. That's right. 
That's what Vic says all the time. He's leaving. That's when he hears your voice. That's DK. What? Joe. What's up? Hey, hey Joe Jones. Hey, who's hey, that? Hey, my baby, girl. Mika. Hey, Felix. Hey, hey baby. Hey. Everybody That's else that I can't see. DK hey. and Ripsaw. How y'all doing? Yeah, how are you? How are you doing? It's my girl. Hi, husband. <laughs> <laughs> He still talks to you? Talk to that. I bring you back, J. Jones. I'll bring you back. He still talks to you, Trap. I shouldn't. I know you shouldn't. And you shouldn't. And you shouldn't. He's kind of shaky, that guy there. That's to you, J. Jones, for me. That's you. <laughs> no, no Diddy. Get out of here. No Don't come Diddy. Back here. No, oh. absolutely not. Absolutely not. Did you do my watches? Did you oh, Lord, no, have mercy. Me. Wait, give me. That's one of my kids. So we took these for nothing? Sure, we were doing anything else. Oh, well. What time is it? Trap's been on too long. It's time for me, time for me to get off the, off the air. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me for you being the man of the hour. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have disappointed you this evening. You didn't disappoint me. I had a good time with this evening. Oh, did you now? I mean, DK's a bet one of the best guys in the world. Mm -hmm. True. Joe's one True. of the best guys in the world. Felix is one of the best guys in the world. I mean, come on. Draft is one of the. I got two brothers on here that are great. And you miss one. Yeah, you're supposed to say Who did I miss? Trap. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> you can't so, around and bring you back now. <laughs> Don't even worry beam about it. me up, Scotty. <laughs> I don't know why. Every time, like, Jay, Jay, Jay like, gets kicked off, it's so funny. <laughs> 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 so, um, yeah, we, we are we're coming to an end. And um, I guess, oh, who do we lose? No, I just closed the uh, oh, okay, okay, the website. Yeah. I guess, uh, he's still there. Jeez, yeah, I can still hear you. <laughs> <laughs> you might, you might take he's me still over, there. I can, hear you. So I, I can make plans, I can make plans for the future. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are the future's past. Get out of here, bro. Anybody think about you? What's That's you right? What you working on? What you working on, bro? What you what you got? Yeah, look like he's look like he's strolling. He is. I see, man. I see it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I see it. That's <laughs> pathetic, bro. That, you know that, that 30% is still working. It sure is. Did you order that watch, Felix? Yeah, I did. I got it. <laughs> I got the red one. Oh, you talk talk about me. Talk about me. That's Felix. one. That's one of your seven. Your 15, I mean, of the month. Talk but. about me. Or 20, got the red 20 DK. It was 20, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, no, got... 17 so far. No, that he bought for the month. I thought he said it was 20. No, Did he said 20. It's 17 that came 17. in. I got seven more. Yeah, coming. 17. What, what's on your wrist there, DK? Uh, I don't want to share because Trap's going to make fun of me. Uh -oh. <laughs> I got a tutor. Oh, my here. gosh. Tutor. He's got the tutor. Oh, you're such you a freaking to tutor. Hey, tell, him, tell him, to the tutor. Tell, to him, the tell him, DK. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> tell him, tell him, DK. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Ha ha, trap. I'm, but you know what? I'm not even mad at that, man. Um, okay, so I guess let's sum it up, man. If you made it this far in the in the chat, uh, and watching the video, man, look. It's nice to, to learn about new watches that's coming out, man. But it's also dope to go back and find some of those old pieces. I think that hunt, I want to say we kind of got away from the hunt, man. Because it's too easy to get some of these new pieces. Go search for that watch that you really, really wanted a couple years ago that you couldn't afford. But now your money has gotten a little better. Go back and find it. And you got to remember, Trap, some of those prices on the older watches are down, 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 way down right now. Mm -hmm. Bro, I I missed a freaking tutor that was uh made in 2018 stainless steel. 
DK, you would have loved this watch, man. Cost certified. That thing went for $2,200 over at, uh, at the uh, AD, mm-hmm. right around the corner from me. Missed out on it. $2,200. Yeah. Beautiful watch. Dude, mm. They're out there, man. They're out there. And due to my lack of knowledge, Trap, what would that watch normally go for? So uh, from what he told me, that watch was $3,800 uh, back in 2018. Okay. Mm-hmm. So for it to be 2200 and they had boxing papers, uh, they just had that, you know, that uh, customer appreciation like three weeks ago. Yeah. They got, they they actually, uh, there was a uh, squale that mimicked the um, Tudor professional and um that thing was beautiful bro i think it was like six hundred dollars 39 39 and a half millimeters wow. beautiful watch man they had some tutors there too uh uh pre-owned for cheap i want to say it was like three grand for some like hmm. the 2020 models so but they're gone now i mean because people see those deals and they're like plus they were That's taking right money up, off. yeah mm-hmm. they was taking money off you know, so yeah, man, I, I would say, man, there's nothing wrong with buying a pre-owned watch, bro. I got a couple of them in my collection, bro. I, I care less. Just make sure you get them from fellow collectors, man. You don't want to get them from... You don't want to get them from... You don't get enough stores. Get them from fellow collectors, yeah. Yeah, was, they, they more than the regular. Before they were renewed, it made no sense. Yeah, you do, you do have to do your research, man. Your due diligence, man, before you go and do something stupid like that. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I do agree. So um, Remember, I asked you once before, Trevor, about that. Do you get a renewed watches from Invicta stores or something like that, or do you go to a collector? Hey, I, no, I ain't before. got nothing renewed from Invicta. No, that's, that's what you told me. Mm-hmm. And I that's what you told you. me. I promise you that. What crazy me is that you know it's it's price more. Hold on for a second, y'all. Y'all keep talking. You know, doesn't I don't understand why it's supposed to be cheaper. Yeah. Wait, the and renewed watches are more. Yeah, some of the renewed watches are, are more expensive than when, yeah. they, when they were priced at original. See, that's yeah, I just, don't get that either. That's yeah. like that's just an insult. Exactly. Yeah. Isn't it? DK? it me, I'm yeah. not gonna buy it. So I'm like, mm-hmm. forget that. I don't even get no deal, and I'm I'm buying a watch somebody else wore. What's yeah. the insult? What like what was it? How the uh, renewed ones rebuilt? Ones are what they call them? Yeah, renewed. Yeah, yeah. Renewed. Yeah. 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 Yeah
And so uh, oh, oh, oh. your collection, <laughs> low, your low collection low. full of book. What you, what you say? Your collection full. Shut up. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> what'd you say? <laughs> so y'all, I appreciate everybody that came in and rock with me, man. I appreciate all you guys. And uh, we'll come back uh, later on this week. Hopefully, I can get my man Vic so we can start two bros in the watch. And uh, we'll have you guys come up. DK, I would love for you to be my guest and just walk us through your lovely collection. All yeah, right. Man. So that's it's it. There. All right. Guys, it. Y'all have a good night. Everybody and, have a good night. Uh, hey, man. Have a good night. Y'all have a good night. Hold up. Wait a minute. What you say, Jay? I you think good night. Okay. Good night, Jay. Y'all, <laughs> y'all be blessed. All right, brother. <laughs>